Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Warzone 2 crash on a startup or not launching problem on a PC and laptop. I will be sharing the list of solutions, so make sure that you apply all the solution. The video can be a bit lengthy, but it contains all solution. I'm very sure that after applying all the solution, they are crashing and not launching problem of Warzone will be resolved. And if this work for you guys, please consider subscribing to the channel, like the video. And still, if you have any question, problem, let me know in the comment section. The first thing that you have to do is you need to run SFC scan on your PC. That will be uh, just detecting any kind of integrity violation and will try to fix it. So on your Windows 10 or 11, click on the search box, type CMD and choose run as administrator. Then click on yes. The black window will be coming up here. You have to type SFC space forward slash scan now hit enter and this will now begin the system scan and it will take some time. So what we can do, we can minimize it and proceed with the next solution. Now in the next solution, we have to add defender exclusion for the war zone game. So what you have to do, click on the search box, type here defender. And from the suggestion, choose Windows Defender Firewall. The firewall will be up and from the left in menu option, you will see allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. So click on it. And here you have to look for Call of Duty. And if you find it, then on the top, you will find change settings. So click on it. And in front of Call of Duty, you will see two boxes of private and public. So make sure both of these boxes are checked. Once done, click on OK and then close it. And now you also need to verify the game integrity from Steam and run the repair and scan option from battle.net. So open battle.net and then on the left hand side, open your Call of Duty. And then where it says play button on the right of it, you will find this setting gear icon, click on it. And then here you will find an option of scan and repair. So click on scan and repair, then click on begin scan. And this will again take some time by scanning and verifying. So you have, you can minimize it. And for this team, I don't have my game over here, but what you can do, right click on the call of duty, then choose properties. And then from the left in menu option, you will find local file, click on it. And then on the right side, you will find verify game file. So you have to click on it and wait until this has been completed. Once done, in the next step, you have to disable the full screen optimization of your game. So look for Call of Duty icon on your desktop, right click on it, choose properties. Then properties box will be up from the left in menu option, click on compatibility. And here check the box of disable full screen optimization. And also check the box of run this program as an administrator. Once done, click on apply and then click on OK. And now in the next step, click on the search box again, type here game mode. And from the suggestion, choose game mode settings. And here make sure that this game mode option has been disabled. If not, then you have to turn it off. And then from the left in menu option, click on Xbox game bar and also disable Xbox game bar, at least when you are playing the game. Once you are done, close it. And now you can check your SFC scan, the command that we just ran. And you can see it says Windows resource protection found current file and successfully repaired them. So there was some problem and that has been repaired. So probably that was a problem behind the crashing and not launching issues. So this will help us to fix this problem. So now you can close it. And then in the next step, click on the search box again, type here graphic. And from the suggestion, choose graphic settings. Now here we have to add the war zone, the call of duty to the high performance. So you have to click on browse and then it will ask you the location where exactly your call of duty war zone is located. So again, you can look for call of duty icon, right click on it, choose open file location. And from the top address box, click on it then right click and choose copy again come to graphic settings and click on browse 
and here on the top you can paste the same path that you copied and hit enter here you'll find call of duty launcher click on it and then click on add once added click on options and set it to high performance then click on save and now you can close this box and you also need to update your graphic driver so make sure that if there is an outdated driver or a corrupted graphic driver then also this can create crashing issues on your computer so right click on the windows icon on your 10 or 11 and choose device manager here you'll find display adapter double click on it then it will list you the driver that exactly you're using it can be amd it can be intel it can be nvidia so whichever it is right click on it and choose update driver then click search automatically for drivers and if there are update available it will automatically update it and if not then it will give you this message still what you can do you can open your browser and manually download the driver from the official website for that you have to go to google type if you are using amd then type amd driver download and then from there choose your model and download your driver all right else this method will also work for you you can also try clearing the cache of the call of duty so for that what you can do press windows and r key all together to bring up the run box at the left hand corner here you have to type percent program data percent again then hit on ok then here you have to look for blizzard entertainment double click on it then you will find battle.net double click on it here you will find the cache folder open it and then you can delete everything from this folder so press ctrl a to select all then right click on it and choose delete once it's been deleted finally we have to make some changes from the call of duty warzone 2 settings so open your battle.net or steam and then launch your game once the game is up on the right hand top you will see the setting gear icon click on it and then from the suggestions here you have to click on graphics now in the display section you will find the vsync option so you have to disable both this vsync option for gameplay and from the menus so make sure that both this option is turned off once done from the top in menu option click on quality and then is here scroll down and you have to look for on demand texture streaming here it is you have to disable this option as well then click on yes and once you are done you can just close it now restart your game and check back i'm very sure that your crashing issues of warzone 2 or the not launching problem will be resolved so that's all guys for today hopefully this complete list of solution will give you some uh, relaxation about the crashing problem and if this worked for you please consider subscribing like the video and let me know still if you have any question and i see you in the next session Bye bye